Hey, so I want to go over some of the panels and give you a better idea because everybody's always has the most questions about air manager. So right here, we're running the Cessna 172 in X plane, which has the 530 and the 430. And of course, as I've mentioned on the other video, you can run it without the panel or you can run it with the cockpit up there in X plane either way. Now, this is the free Cessna 172 panel that comes with Air Manager, and it has all the steam gauges, and um, it does a nice job. And you could take and add the 430 and the 530 over here on the side and resize everything down, and it would take you, you know, in a good hour, hour or two to, you know, resize all these instruments down and then put your 430 and your 530 over there. So the alternative is Air Manager sells a panel which has that already done, which is, I think, more than $10 and less than $20 for their premium panel, I think is how they call it. And everything on that gray panel, you just saw the free one, pretty much is right in this gray area up here. And then they resized all this to fit the 430 and the 530. As I've already demonstrated before, you know, you can control your, your knobs, you know, with touch down here. And uh, all these all these knobs work and the park and brake and all those types of things. So um, there is the paid panel. Now with this paid panel, you also get another variant of this panel. And we have that set up in the G1000 version of the um, Cessna 172, so that when you switch to the G1000 version of the 172, the, that panel comes up. And so again, this is also a uh, premium panel. And looks like I did not have it locked down, and it got dragged a little bit. So once you get your panel where it needs to be, which I'm doing now, you can right-click and lock it so it can't get inadvertently dragged again, which I have now done. And of course, all this stuff works with touch as well. And, um, you know, you change something down here, it changes up there. You know, as, as I've mentioned before, you don't have to fly with the panel. You can fly with nothing up there on the screen. And, of course, as you uh, fly along, let the park and brake off here. As you fly along, the things down at the bottom, of course, change to match what's happening up top. And I think I'm increasing the throttle. Maybe I didn't. I probably didn't. And I don't have my foot on the pedals. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> We're taking off through the fence because I don't have my foot on the pedals. Anyway, I uh, forgot we had rudder pedals set up on here. So, do you get off the ground already? There we go. All right, so you see everything, you know, updating on the G1000 down there and the airspeed, the artificial horizon. Um, all those things updating, of course, the throttle. So there's that. And let's switch to another plane now. They also have a free panel, which is kind of basic for the uh, Baron. Anyway, I'm sitting off to the side, so I, it's kind of impossible to have my feet on the pedals right now. And again, this is a now this is a free panel that's about to come up that is uh, for the Baron. So here we go. And now the, um, if you wanted to see, we have a 530 over here inside X-Plane. If you wanted to resize all these instruments, you could resize them all and, you know, put your 530 over there. Um, or you could eliminate a couple of instruments and put your 530 over there. Or you, know, you could always put it on yet another monitor, but um, I don't know if you want to get into all that. Probably the easiest thing to do is just resize some of this stuff. So any of the free panels that come with it can be edited. So you could take one of the free panels like this as your starting point and then delete and add instruments as you might need. Um, they are fully editable once you download the pre-made panel from um, the Air Manager folks. And then there's one for a, a pre-made panel. This is also a free one for our, the uh, Cirrus Vision Jet. So we've already downloaded that one and got it set up. So there's the Cirrus Vision Jet. 
and its pre-made free panel. Now, if you have an odd plane that really doesn't, um, doesn't have a pre-made panel, then you can download a blank panel. Uh, so I'm opening up the Air Manager interface here, and you can hit that you want to download a panel and just download a blank panel. And then once you download that panel, then you go over to instruments and you download individual instruments. And they've got a large repository here of instruments. There's 1169 instruments according to this. And then you can just type in here, like if I type in Baron, um, there, it, you know, there's any, any specific um, instruments that are for the Baron. Or uh, if I ter type the word speed in, there's 95 instruments with the word speed. And then you can just click on them. And then if you see one you want, you download it. You hit add. It will tell you there's a little icon over to the side. And tell it tells you whether it's compatible with X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Sim, P3D, uh, or like in this case, this one has all four icons, uh, Flight Sim 2020, X-Plane, P3D and uh, Flight Sim X or 10. And then you can just click through, you can see a preview of them. And then when you find one you want, you highlight it and you just hit the add and you add it to your blank panel. Or you can add it to a panel, a panel you're editing, like one of the, um, the pre-made ones that come with the system. You could add it to that and then resize everything to put your panel in there. So uh, it's very powerful. Uh, it takes a little bit of learning, you know, to get used to if you're scared uh, to, to learn how to do that stuff yourself. Um, you can certainly, we have something called a white glove setup where we'll spend, I think it's up to two hours, essentially helping you with exactly this. We could probably go through and create, you know, one panel uh, most of the way through and show you how to, to do that. And then you can sort of take it from there, for lack of a better term, and, and go on with it and uh, make whatever it is you want to make or whatever airplane that you have. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea that this, by the way, Air Manager also works with Microsoft Flight Sim. I've just been showing X-Plane because that's what we're most familiar with. But uh, Microsoft Flight Sim, it also works with.